working through our series of solving equations. Today we're going to talk about solving multi-step equations in situations where no distribution is required. So no distributive property at all, no distributing. Um, to do this we're going to follow the same systematic method that we've always been solving but we're only going to use certain parts of it. This is our little key code for solving problems. You may or may not remember it. The first step to solving an equation is draw the line. Drawing the line obviously not obviously, but it does, mean that you're going to draw a line right down the middle between that uh, one side of the equation and the other. So through the middle of the equal sign. Step two is baby goes bathroom. Uh, this is a reminder, and we'll get into it when we talk about the distributive property, that you have to do distributive property before you do almost anything else when you're solving basic equations. The third step is clean your room. That's the one we're going to talk about today. Clean your room is the idea that if you have stuff on your side of that line, you've got to get all the like terms together. So if I have something with a variable and uh, something without a variable, it would be nice if I had you know everything together in one neat package, and we're going to do that today. The fourth step is pork chops and applesauce. If needed, that's if we have uh, variables on both sides of the line after we clean up our room. Uh, we won't have that today. The fifth step is parties over, which of course is if you have a party at your house, you'll have two types of people show up, your friends and your friends of friends. It's just a reminder to get rid of your friends of friends first. We'll show that in a minute. And uh, finish him, of course, is the last step, which is the one-step equation that always ends a, a large multi-step. So let's do a couple problems here. The first one we're going to do is 10 equals 6m plus 8 minus 4. So if we're going to follow the stream of logic that we've been working with for a while now, sorry if you heard a little movement there. I was trying to grab this orange piece of paper to separate them. Um, if you remember the first step, and if you don't, it's right here. The first step is draw the line. So we're going to draw a line down the equal sign right here. The second step would be baby goes bathroom, but you see there's no distributive property, so no need to worry about that. The third step would be clean your room. That's the one we're going to focus on today, cleaning your room. Combine like terms on the same side of the line. So we're going to look at both sides of this line. Uh, there's just a 10 over here, so that's good. On this side, we have 6m plus 8 minus 4. To determine whether or not we have like terms, I like to mark things up. If I have m, our variable to the first power, sometimes I make a line under it. And if I have just integer terms or just numbers, I am just going to leave them without a line. Then you combine things that have a line and combine things that don't. This is sort of like uh, playing shirts and skins, uh, sports activities or whatever that uh, guys tend to do. Um, the idea is that the skins team are a team because they don't have shirts. Well, these numbers are like terms because they don't have a variable. So all I'm going to do, since they're on the same side of the line, is read the story. Whatever it says to do, I'm going to do it. Positive 8 minus 4. So 8 minus 4, uh, last time I checked, was just 4. So I'm going to bring this 6m down. Whatever it tells me, I'm going to do that. Now we're at parties over right here. The idea of parties over is that I have two types of people that show up to a party. The first type of person that shows up to a party is my friend. I'm going to keep those people close to me because at the end of the night um, they might help me clean up. The friend of friend shows up and all they want to talk about is you know whatever they're going on in their ridiculous lives and they're not going to help me clean up so if I'm going to parties over time I'm going to kick out that friend of friend. Well, if the main character of my story is the variable, which is me, my six is right next to me. So that would be indi that would be indicative of the fact that that's my friend. This plus four, on the other hand, is separated by this plus, so that's a friend of friends, so to speak. So I'm going to get rid of this plus four. To get rid of something, I have to do the opposite operation of what's shown. So I do positive four minus four, because four minus four is zero. The problem is, if you do something to one side of an equation, you have to do it to the other. It's like socialism. You don't want to show favorites in the wars. So then you just do 6m, bring that down. 10 minus 4 is positive 6. We're finally at finish it. It's the last step. You see that this is really 6m equals 6, which is uh, 6 groups of how many things, which is the variable, is equal to 6. So in order to solve this, I use the opposite operation. 6 and m are touching, so much like hamsters, if they touch, they multiply, so do variables and numbers. So 6 times m says 6, uh, this 6 m says 6 times m. So to get rid of that multiply, I'm going to divide. Same thing over here. These cancel out, because 6 divided by 6 would give you 1, and it'd be 1 m. And over here, 6 divided by 6 is 1. 
So m is equal to 1. So that's all you need to do. Now, um, what you might want to do is uh, look at one more quick problem, and then we'll have an example you can try if you're so interested. So we'll do this one much quicker than we did that one. The long explanations are over. So I've got this. I drew my line. I look for baby goes bathroom. No baby goes bathroom. No distributive. So I'm going to go to clean my room. And I do have to clean my room here. I have an 8n. And this 4 has no variable, so I'm not going to mark it. I am going to mark this one. I'm a very visual person. And just read the story, whatever it says. Once upon a time, 8 minus 4. So once again, we end up with a uh, 4. But this is 8n minus 4n, so it's 4n. Now we're at parties over. Here I am. My friend is right next to me. Here's the friend of friend. We've got to get rid of plus 4. Negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. And bring down my 4n. Now we're at finish it. 4 times n, the opposite of multiply is divide. So I just get n equals negative 12. Three. Following very systematic patterns, you can solve these. If you are so interested in trying one, um, here's one for you to take a look at, and I'll f be gone for a minute, and you can either try to find the other video version of this, or if you're watching them as a stream of things, you can uh, just pause it and wait a second and then try to see if you can get the right answer.